Is it allergies or sinusitis? I'm Carly Williams, co-host of the Living Well podcast by Jefferson Health. Spring is a time when many people experience nasal and sinus symptoms, like a runny nose or congestion, as a result of seasonal allergies. But how do you know when it's actually allergies and when it may be a sinus infection? The symptoms are similar, but the treatments are very different. Otolaryngologist Dr. Alina Toscala helps us learn the difference. Sinusitis and allergies share many symptoms, which can make it difficult to determine which condition is causing your discomfort. Allergies occur when the immune system overreacts to an external trigger, such as pollen, dust mites, or pet dander. Sinusitis, also known as a sinus infection, is typically caused by a virus like a cold. Dr. Toscala says both allergies and sinusitis are inflammation but sinusitis is inflammation of the sinus lining caused by bacteria or viruses. She also says that sinusitis symptoms tend to persist for several weeks and can become more chronic or more severe, whereas allergies can occur intermittently or persist throughout the year. It can be difficult to tell the difference between sinusitis and allergies based on the symptoms alone. However, there are a few key differentiators between the two. Allergy symptoms include sneezing, runny nose, itchy eyes, and nose and throat irritation. These symptoms occur seasonally or year-round depending on the allergen. Allergies can also cause fatigue or a general sick feeling, but they don't typically cause symptoms like facial pain or pressure. Symptoms of sinusitis, on the other hand, include facial pain or pressure, nasal congestion, headache, post-nasal drip, cough, fatigue, and sometimes fever. Dr. Toscala says that these symptoms can be present for several weeks and may include a thick, discolored nasal discharge, bad breath, and a reduced sense of smell. She also notes that these symptoms are a key difference and an indicator that you have a sinus infection. Whether you're experiencing allergies or sinusitis, if your symptoms last more than a week, it's important to get treatment. Allergies are typically treated with antihistamines in the form of sprays or tablets, nasal steroid sprays, or allergy immunotherapy to reduce the body's reaction to the allergen. Sinusitis is typically treated with antibiotics, saline rinses, or nasal and or oral steroids to reduce inflammation and alleviate symptoms. Dr. Toscala says your primary care provider can help to determine what you're experiencing. If it's allergies, they can refer you to an ear, nose, and throat ENT doctor who specializes in allergies for allergy testing and treatment, such as allergy shots, drops, or tablets. However, if you're experiencing recurrent or chronic sinusitis, you may need to consider other forms of treatment. Dr. Toscala cautions, if you have four to five sinus infections a year, or you have nasal polyps, it's important to see an ENT for nasal endoscopy to determine the underlying cause. She also shares that depending on the cause or the severity of your symptoms, you may need surgery to open and unclog the sinuses. While surgery alone doesn't always cure chronic sinusitis, it will help to treat it and significantly reduce your symptoms. No matter what, don't let persistent symptoms delay your treatment. If left untreated, sinusitis at its worst can lead to other infections and become more serious health complications. Dr. Toscala adds people with asthma, COPD, and other chronic health conditions are more at risk if upper airways are not treated. But understanding the differences between allergies and a more serious sinus infection can help you receive the appropriate treatment and alleviate your symptoms as quickly as possible. If you're interested in learning more about allergies or sinusitis, please visit jeffersonhealth.org slash livingwell. For more interviews with Jefferson experts to help support your mental and physical well-being, listen and subscribe to the Living Well podcast by Jefferson Health on your preferred players, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Podbeam.